um, the truth is, without tenacity, the courage, determination, and staying power uh, of all of you, um, I don't think we'd be in this wonderful building today, would we? Um, I, I want to talk a little bit about the recent TUC and tell you a few of the things um, that I spoke about there. Uh, it was, was my honour to second um, the uh, motion put down by the National Union of Journalists and the subject of the motion was surveillance uh, and blacklisting. And it was one of two motions dealing with surveillance and I think that's really interesting. And the first motion dealing with surveillance was talking about CCTV, hidden cameras, car trackers, and personal digital assistant, PDAs. Um, all tools that employers say are there to protect loan workers are, are now being deployed um, uh, by some employers uh, to uh, bring their employees to, uh, into disciplinary procedures, etc. Uh, but in addition to that, the MUJ highlighted state surveillance and access to journalists' communications with the explicit aim of exposing whistleblowers' identities. Uh, quite a chilling uh, speech made by uh, my good friend Michelle Stanistreet. And all of those things combine to create a perfect storm, don't they? A green light uh, to unscrupulous employers, and a green light to state interference. And of course, we must never forget, and I'm sure you've discussed this, the link between the state and the blacklisting uh, conspiracy. Um, and Michelle uh, Stanistreet, she's the National Union of Journalists uh, General Secretary, and she reminded the Congress about the 2009 uh, expose of the conspiracy against construction workers. And I know, because uh, I've been involved in it over recent years, uh, the Trade Union Congress, workers from all uh, walks of life, have heard really harrowing uh, accounts from recent people denied, denied employment for the crime of fighting for safe working conditions. But importantly, and I think this is the critical issue, fighting for the rate for the job. And in uh, the amendment we put, um, we highlighted the important work of the Blacklist Support Group, and I think, again, uh, my thought, it goes to the ESG, um, but also sister unions, um, uh, that has involved trade unions beyond uh, construction, so that there is a much better awareness now, outside of construction, about how the Consulting Association collated files and thousands of workers and how those 44 companies conspired. Um, we've campaigned for better law with the Black Support Group and lots of politicians, far more uh, than even a few years ago, um, are supporting our call for better law, um, both in Westminster, Hollywood and Welsh Assembly, and many, many Labour councils across uh, the UK. Um, and Royce just mentioned it, this audience, you know how those conspirators were dragged, I use my words advisedly, were dragged uh, to high courts of justice, and how thousands of, uh, hundreds of our members uh, were for financial compensation. And what I think still sticks in my throat, um, and we didn't accept this, what the uh, contractor companies said was that they're sorry. They're really, really sorry, um, but they are still unable to admit to the term blacklisting. And so the so-called construction workers' compensation scheme, which we said should be called the blacklisted workers' compensation scheme, when it was originally put forward, shamelessly, they put forward an amount, and I don't know how many people know this, but of 1,000 pounds, for a name only entrance, a thousand pounds. Small change uh, to, to the leaders of those organizations. We thought that was an insult to workers who for many had experienced a breakup in their family life, whose lives were ruined. Um, uh, we got much more, uh, but quite truthfully, we don't want to look back. We now want to start looking forward. And what, really importantly, and I know Keith will uh, touch on this, he's got some smashing ideas in this book, 
a manifesto for labor law. Still the law uh, intended to protect blacklisted workers is woefully inadequate. Now, what's really important is that the Congress of uh, TUC backed out a new demand uh, better law and a full public inquiry into blacklisting um, with input from our blacklisted members who are still doing work, <coughs> work today. My union has produced this guide, Blacklisting Closing the Net, guidance on com combating contemporary blacklisting. And while we're gathering evidence through our activists of contemporary blacklisting, we're campaigning industrially to back our activists who are out there fighting for the rate for the job and equal pay. Um, I, I told TUC Congress of how in July, Unite at Fawley Oil Refinery threatened tactical industrial action. Um, 21 workers could have closed that refinery. And I'm pleased to say that the uh, company buckled and the one equal pay for migrant workers arise from 40 <laughs> And the day rate is 125, and we got them the 125. And I'm so proud to say uh, that our team on the refinery got that backdated to September. That made a big difference to the dignity of those workers. In the energy from waste sector, we took our campaign to Denmark. We went to the Danish company that's uh, all, uh, uh, contracting in the energy uh, from waste sector, and we said you would not do in Denmark what you are doing in Britain. You would not bring over or encourage workers to be brought over on, uh, uh, on lesser rates. Um, and we've had the solidarity of our sister union, Dags uh, We've Town. We have now got the employer around the table uh, and uh, we expect uh, to get equal pay there too. So I just want to talk about another industrial campaign because it is really relevant, because it's around this issue of conspiracy and how contractor companies in the sector work together, scratching each other's back. Um, we fought and defended national agreement against a gang of seven major contractor companies who put aside, Phil, 25 million pounds, 25 million pounds fighting fund uh, to uh, usurp our national agreement, the so-called agreement called Besner. Uh, and we uh, defeated them, importantly as well, Keith, um, we brought Balfour Beatty into an industrial action ballot. They said it could never be done in construction because of the fragmentation of local self employment, etc. They took us to the High Court and we won that High Court case. So we won that, uh, we won that dispute. Um, and I'm proud to say it is in the room today. Uh, it's one of my best moments, I guess. Uh, we've also returned a blacklisted worker to work and proved that the consulting association's main contract, uh, contacts are alive and well and spinning their web of discrimination and victimization on major infrastructure projects but because of the campaign we run. I'm pleased to say that my good comrade Frank uh, is in the job. <laughs> Suppliers betting it's a double whammy, really, because the labour supplier bets, then the contractor bets, and then, you know, big surprise, the guidance is going to be made on Monday, suddenly they don't need, you know, five, they only need four. Um, and I know for a fact, I know for a fact that labour suppliers, uh, we put a squeeze on uh, to employ our blacklisted workers, uh, are now having to choose still between action by our union and losing contracts, losing work from major contractors. So, you know, comrades, it would be really foolish and naive to think that the industry is cleansed. And um, in all these campaigns, our activists on the front line know that their actions are watched and they know that their actions are noticed. And so we say to contractor companies, the litmus test is will you consciously take on your books um, uh, our activists and I'm pleased to say we have now got some of the major contractors on a major project um, 
been back crossing London by rail, um, uh, uh, into uh, jobs, uh, and we've got Bond Stewart's credentials. Um, but, you know, we need to do so much more, and that um, demand uh, dovetails into our campaign for direct employment. Look, we uh, use political, legal, but crucially industrial tactics, and um, I'm really <coughs> delighted to say that we called on the TUC Congress to support a further TUC Day of Action uh, to back the demand uh, for a full public inquiry and an end to the We will ensure that the Blacklist Support Group is invited to help plan that day. Um, some of you will know some of the industrial tactics that we use uh, to deal with most unscrupulous uh, employers can be symbolised by a giant rat. Um, but um, it isn't all about demonstrating. It's an intelligent, meticulously planned and executed strategy, and it wins for workers foremost in construction, but not exclusively. Currently, Unite is demanding that Bromley Council, Tory through and through, back off from victimising whistleblowers, expose the truth about that council's failures, its failures of older people and its failures of vulnerable children. But in particular, in that campaign, we are uh, seeking to reinstate the full facilities for our shop steward, who we say has been penalised for whistleblowing. So, um, and I'm not going to go on for much, longer, don't worry. Um, in, uh, in, in, uh, in our publication, Closing the Net, we do expect to disclose uh, a pattern that is evidence of contemporary blacklisting, evidence of the former Scottish uh, in uh, Affairs Committee inquiry into blacklisting in past four, but importantly, um, evidence that the former Secretary of State, Vince Cable, said would be a prerequisite um, for a full and independent public inquiry. The Tories are part of that government, weren't they? And so I'm sure they will deliver on it today. Um, so look, you know, today is uh, the day that the UKIP leader was announced. Um, and our rebuttal to xenophobia and the slogan, take back control, our rebuttal to the thuggery on our streets, and our rebuttal uh, 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 to the temptation workers may see in the slogan, British jobs for British workers, our rebuttal to that is to organise industrially against the undercutters, the exploiters of migrant workers, and to back our members all the way when they take their case to employers <coughs> strike action or other campaigning. But I know that I can count on your solidarity uh, in supporting the forthcoming TUC Day of Action. Thank you very much indeed.